why I don't use AI editing tools in my photography. When it comes to my photography, I don't use AI tools such as AI noise reduction or AI subject selection, nor do I use any generative AI such as subject removal or background extension. Today, I'm going to tell you why. It's quite simple. I believe that AI, especially a generative kind, is harmful to humanity as it devalues human expression in art by replacing human creative decisions with the simulated creativity of the machine. Of course, one must make a distinction between different kinds of AI. After all, the most basic machine learning algorithm is nothing more than an equivalent of fitting a linear model, which is certainly not intelligent at all, nor can it tell you anything more than using least squares minimization. At the other end, we have generative AI, which is becoming rather scary. In other words, there's a spectrum of AI algorithms, from the most deterministic to the ones which seem to have emergent behaviors approaching human activity, such as AI image generation. When it comes to photography, of course, I condemn AI image generation, as it is not photography at all. And I also condemn generative field tools in Photoshop, because it adds or subtracts things that have never existed in the first place. But what about AI noise reduction and AI subject selection tools that I used to save time? Personally, I prefer not to use those. Of course, the result is still essentially traditional photography, and they do save time for many. They are not generative and do not make any creative decisions, but I am still against them for two reasons. Number one, the first and most relevant, perhaps, is support for any machine learning endeavor contributes to AI research as a whole, and thus it supports generative AI research as well. I simply want no part in that. Secondly, I believe that such tools are simply not necessary. AI noise reduction is still inferior to getting a photo in great light that needs no AI noise reduction, so I'd rather adopt a philosophy of taking truly excellent photos rather than producing a huge pile of decent photos that only become decent on the use of AI noise reduction. Expanding on the first point, going against the use of AI tools for me is going against the spirit of AI, which is a bad thing in its entirety, even if some parts of it are benign in isolation. Technology is not merely a tool. It is also a self-organizing social force that propagates primarily through situations that are often essentially instances of the prisoner's dilemma. That is to say, people are often forced to use technology because it gives some people short-term advantages, which then leads to everyone using it to keep up, which in turn often leads to a net detriment to the biosphere. A great example being cars, which have caused intense damage to the world. Finally, it is almost painful to point out the extremely obvious, but I must say it. It is not always possible to avoid AI entirely. It is very likely that some products I will use in the future will be designed with AI. Nevertheless, I believe the only logical choice is to minimize and go against AI in any form to the best of my ability. Machine learning itself is an affront to human dignity and the human soul, and we should not be trying to play God with such powers. Thank you for listening to my video. By the way, if you plan on leaving a comment, make sure your comment has a respectful tone without condescension, because otherwise it will be immediately deleted in the same way that I've deleted several comments thus far.